a good protective style um, depending on um, whether you want to use extensions or not I should maybe give you an example of each um, so good protective styles are things like low buns I say a low bun because when you tie your hair up you're putting a lot of pressure right on the outside but when you tie it down the middle or side part in you're only putting pressure more or less on the top um, Twists are good, not a lot of people really favouring twists at the moment like with their own hair but with not with with extension it's good but maybe not too much extension. If you haven't been done often or with a lot of hair then that can that can be not protective if that makes sense. So the less hair you use the better um, and not too thick. Thinner styles will be a lot less tiring on your edges. Um, what's the longest set of braids you've done? Oh my gosh, so this lady asked for micro braids. Um, longest as in time or longest as in length? If it's time then it, it took me eight hours, nine hours, no eight hours to do micro braids. That's the longest I've braided for, I haven't, I don't take longer than that. Um, and in regards to longest length then, on someone else I've gone to the calf and to myself I've gone to ankle. Um, right, okay, let me wrap this round. So once you've done the twist, you're just gonna twist it on itself, keep going underneath. But I'm not twisting it too tight because it's already tight. I made that mistake. I should have not made the part, the band, the part ends tight. If that makes sense? Because it kind of tightens as you're twisting it. And you just want the form to shape like the look that you want. Right. Um, are you training to learn any new skills in hair? Um, every day, learning like whatever somebody wants. I want to do for them um, but if there's something new I would want to learn would be hmm like a invisible part crochet maybe I don't know I don't know what I can't do I don't want to do chemicals I probably have to come back to you on that one still um, do you see yourself doing hair for the rest of your career? I do see myself doing hair for the rest of my life, or the rest of my bloody life, but I don't see that as the only thing. I think I'll always do it because you can't really forget how to do hair. Um, and I'll always need it, but it won't be the, the only thing I do, you know. Can't be doing the same thing for too long. Um, what's your favourite style to do and why? Okay, I love doing ponytails. I love doing ponytails and plaits. Um, because they're very, they're very, it's not because it's easy, because everything's easy. It is a hard work for a very easy look with ponytails, but I just think the look that you get after is just so sleek and rewarding. And I just think, yeah, that person's happy with the hair. Um, I do also like to do feed-ins, like straight back cameras with extension or ponytail. I love that. Um, where did you get your inspiration from for, sorry, I just, do keep looking down here because that's where my laptop is and I'm not even... I haven't even got long enough eyesight if I put it in front of me. Where do you get your inspiration from for different hairstyles you produce? Um, Just everywhere really. 
Um, if I see something on someone, I definitely don't want it. Like, I'm like, how can I do that differently? How can I fuck it up? How can I do it differently? Because I think that's the best thing, that I never want my clients to have the same hairstyle as somebody else. I want them all to have their own style. And then once I do the hair, I think I'm not doing that again. I want to, next time I do it, I'm going to do it differently. And that's, that's it really. I inspire me. Um, oh, there's no more questions. Shame on me. Sometimes when you're concentrating, you forget you're even recording. <laughs>